for all patients of cancer patients and these give us the input chemo ports and PICC and uh, for individual patients the uh, needs are different so we need to choose proper devices for individual patients as per their need so uh, we'll talk with all the understanding of the global guidelines regarding the PICC and the Indian practices and uh, how to uh, tackle the barrier regarding the PICC using Indian practice so uh, there is a quote from ESCO the Although the venous excess is uh, very minor, but dramatically it affects the patient's ability to receive the appropriate treatment. So we should be, uh, we need to formulate one Indian guideline, and there is a very high need. And in general, there is a lack of awareness regarding the PICC use and how to give proper uh, training, and and all these training opportunities and material are there, but we are not able to optimally use these things. And they, because of this approach, there is a significant complications whenever someone are using the PICC material and uh, we need to form a proper team and uh, share the Indian experiences regarding the PICC use. So lack of analysis may prevent continuation of chemotherapy for uh, our patients and 70% of patients who receive the irritant vesicle chemotherapy experience phlebitis and around more than 20% patients who receive irritant uh, chemotherapy experience uh, extravasation. So coming to the global guideline, so you can see that those patients who require uh, five days of venous success can be uh, uh, dealt with peripheral IV cannula or sonography guided IV cannula. But in clinically, critically ill patients can uh, need uh, midline catheters or central venous catheters. But, and for those patients who are having cancer and receiving chemotherapy, the PICC or tunnel catheter or port is uh, generally recommended as per the global guideline. And uh, depending upon the chemotherapy, whether it's a irritant or vasicam, and the duration of chemotherapy, whether we are using the venous excess for said uh, short period like uh, up to 6 to 14 days, or mid period about, around 15 to 30 days, or for longer period more than 30 days. So, PICC you can see that you know, it can be used for shorter period as well as for longer period. In terms of uh, in tunnel catheter, it can be used for mid to longer period, and port is generally recommended for. Those who are requiring, uh, requiring longer venous excess. Similarly, those patients who require frequent phlebotomy for blood collection, again you can see that PICC is the uh, material which is uh, recommended in short to longer period. And port is generally not recommended to any for uh, uh, frequent uh, phlebotomy. Then uh, we need to follow the parameters to make an Indian algorithm. So, type of chemotherapy or infusates expected duration of treatment and intervening time for venous access due to uh, devices, intensity of dose, vascular integrity of the patients, patient appropriateness and any other concern raised by the patient. So, uh, uh, the, so type of chemotherapy is the most important factor. So we need to see whether chemotherapy is for short infusion or for longer infusion and what kind of chemotherapy we are giving uh, in addition to and is there any additional infusional monoclonal antibody or immunotherapy along with the chemotherapy. And in general, most of the time, chemotherapy is divided either as vasicin or irritant. So, vasicin include anthracycline like doxorubicin, epirubicin, or vincalcalites, vincristine, vinblastine, alkylating agents, mitomycin C, carnosine, and there are irritant chemotherapy drugs like DNA interferiting antibiotics like uh, metrozentron, then apicodophyllotoxin like itoposide, and chemotabloids like 5 fluorouracil so, so, considering the central venous excess for all vasicin irritant drugs, will be needed to avoid any vascular complications preventing the extravasation and thrombol provisions and to pre pre avoid frequent risk for phlebotomy or repeated uh, blood product infusion. So most of the guidelines now recommend to use uh, uh, PICC for delivery of non-peripheral compatible infusions like irritant or vasectin chemotherapy drugs and the nurse should be uh, used as a terminal to administer short or long term continuous or intermittent infusion solutions such as antineoplastic medications, vasicin, known irritants, parenteral nutrition, variety of antibiotics and uh, any medication with a pH of less than 5 or less more than 9 with osmolarity of more than 600 milliosmol per liter. So you can see that uh, uh, most of the guidelines, almost four uh, including ESCO and NHS have recommended to uh, for, to to use PICC for uh, for longer duration as well up to ranging from 12 to 34 months and this is a paper where they have shown uh, the PICC has been used for uh, 
shorter as well as longer duration and it can be used for uh, frequently for those who are requiring more than 300 days of uh, venous access. Similarly, this again from Indian data where they have shown up to 3 point patients, uh, some patients have issued PICC uh, who require some uh, medicinal support for around 3.8 years. So, uh, so, decide, uh, so whenever we need to decide regarding the, whether there is a needed for venous access, we need to see whether how many clicks patient will need lines of chemotherapy depending upon the drug like. If you see uh, this is a hypothetical case in lung cancer now we know patients go on receiving some uh, immunotherapy, chemotherapy and second line and third line drugs. So it may make around 72 or 100 clicks in a year and uh, this will be very troublesome portion. So, Similarly, in uh, carcinoma ovaries also we are aware patients go on receiving first line, second line and sometimes uh, three lines of chemotherapy and here again patients undergo a frequent uh, phlebotomy and uh, the they patient suffers from some extra suggestions. So, venous uh, status to be checked for every patient before starting chemotherapy and before each cycle of our drug infusion. So, this is a Indian experience by Dr. Govind Babu sir. There, he has shown that in uh, no, Almost median catheter enrolling period for PICC was around 59 days and for chemo port is around 137 days and cost of this uh, central lens catheter or PICC was around uh, 4500 uh, and in chemo port it was around 24,150 rupees and this cost difference was very significant and similarly if you see the complication related to each so PICC and chemo ports you can see that there is very minimal as compared to the central venous catheter. So, if uh, your institution permits, uh, you need to uh, keep the trained nurses to insert the PICC to reduce the cost, to re uh, reduce the complication rates and uh, to re reduce any insertion related complications. And, uh, and whenever uh, possible, we need to prefer uh, to do UAG guided uh, PICC insertion if the, your trained nurses are not available. So, uh, to have a good uh, PICC insertion, we need to make one good uh, PICC insertion in including nurses and it should be done under the sonography guided uh, procedure and educating the patient and caregiver regarding the proper care of the PICC and we need to have uh, good trained nurses for which we uh, believe team is providing uh, uh, in uh, multiple centers a good uh, training team to train these nurses and a PICC team. So, at, at present, the uh, team is providing support at five centers across the India, which includes RGCI, GMC, uh, TMC Kolkata, uh, Tata, TMH, Mumbai, SCG, and Amrita, where they have uh, provided uh, good uh, training expert to train the local nursing team for PICC insertion. So, till now, uh, uh, this, this is the support they have given in TMH Mumbai. They have conducted 32 training sessions in over 13 years, more than 122 healthcare providers train on PICC placement. Similarly, in RCCI, SCG, you, have seen, you can see over uh, uh, more than 5 years they have conducted multiple sessions and trained more than hundreds of healthcare providers to uh, put the PICC and create a good team. Again, this is the data regarding their uh, BD team, how they are supporting the uh, prominent centers across the India. In 2020, they have Train around uh, almost around 12 21 nurses across India. In 21, it was around 14 and 34, and in 22, it was around 2000 plus. And similarly, they are conducting a lot of uh, workshops, and in 22, it was around 36 uh, workshops across India. In 21, it was around 31 workshops across India. In 22, it was 34 workshops to train the nurses across India for PICC insertion. Uh, similarly, uh, the, to avoid the complication, they are making using uh, latest technology and you can see that they have now came with the sutureless stabilization devices and free field saline fees plus to uh, keep to make the maintenance of the PICC very easier. So this is the example uh, where there is new, no need of any uh, putting any suture to fix the device it's just uh, uh, advanced technique you can just fix on the skin and it will not move. Similarly this is a free field saline flush uh, which will reduce the risk of catheter damage, reduce the risk of medication error and assure stability and reduce waste and cost. So coming to the uh, summary, so central venous access device is recommended for all 
person who required uh, either Vazaikar or Adrian uh, Infusions, literally those ki who, which, which are having pH of less than 5 or more than 9, with higher osmolarity of more than 600, those who need PPN or blood, pro blood and blood product support. Uh, next, we need to make a habit of formula checking VNS status for every patient who will be starting on chemotherapy. Every center must provide option for chemo code and PICC. Contrary to the common misconception, PICC has been successfully used for short, intermediate as well as long term therapy even those requiring more than a year of uh, venous access devices. So benefits of both continuous and intermittent chemotherapy will be helpful. With this, uh, thank you and thank you for the video and uh, amazing team for giving this opportunity.